Naptown Tuner here, like and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this fuel pump control module. Just this little green box. This is a little heat sink on the top. Just so you know, I've worked on hundreds, if not thousands, of these Audis and VWs. And I've yet to see myself or anyone else replace this little green box for the fuel pump. In fact, at least I know specifically on the newer Audis, the fuel pumps are pretty robust. I've replaced some fuel pumps on the older Audis, yes. But the newer fuel pumps, like I said, very low fail rate. The high pressure fuel pump, now that has a very high likelihood of failing. So I would suggest replacing the high pressure fuel pump up at the engine every 100,000 miles or so. Now, this is very similar to a cooling fan control module that you'll see in the bottom uh, right corner of the vehicle that operates the cooling fans. It does a similar thing. It allows the cooling fans, or in this case, the fuel pump, to modulate depending on the demand. If you're just idling or driving very slow below 2000 RPM, it allows the fuel pump to run slower. And if you jam the throttle all the way open, it allows the fuel pump to throttle up. So that saves the life on the pump itself and it saves energy. Say ultimately it, it all accumulates to a little bit better fuel mileage as well because the drag on the alternator actually does pull some fuel economy away. Same with the drag on the AC compressor and so on. On this specific deal with the Audis, this is going to be located directly on top of the fuel tank. It really depends on your model, but as far as I can remember, this one's going to be on the driver's rear seat. And it's going to be tucked away a little bit because there's going to be two access panels with three bolts. And this one's going to be tucked away a little bit. You'll see a wiring harness go to it. But this isn't even necessarily something that I recommend changing for reliability issues because I just don't have, have never seen them fail yet. If someone has seen one of these fail on an Audi VW specifically, please let me know in the comments. But chances are you're wrong. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I'm wrong. Just going by what I've seen and the other guys in the shop have seen that I used to work at. Until next time, subscribe to Naptown Tuner. So in this specific car, this is an Audi A4, a junk car that I need to scrap. It wasn't worth fixing. It had 220,000 miles on it or something and needed an engine and so it turned into a parts car. Uh, some cars have an access panel here. We'll look at my Q5 next, but this one only has the fuel pump located on the passenger rear. So maybe I misspoke earlier. Maybe I should edit the video, maybe not. This right here is a ring that you need to unscrew. And I've seen some people use like a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and get it loose, but this is plastic, so you can break that. There is a special tool you stick on this and then get it loose evenly all the way across. If you do happen to use these little ridges and a hammer on them, then you don't want to just stay on one side. You want to go from here, then this way, and then back this way, because they can kind of, uh, you know, get caught from one side to the other if you don't go back and forth. Apparently, I had already messed about with this one and took this module out for some reason. Maybe it was whenever I was messing with that Tiguan, just to verify. Connector looks the exact same. Maybe it was the same part, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I already ordered the module for the Tiguan and thought, huh, the modules are probably same for that Audi back there. So then I tore it out and did something with it. This was years ago, so I don't even remember. This is the connector that goes straight down to the fuel pump itself. This is just a blocked off fitting that doesn't go to anything. And then this is the single line that goes up to the front. 
There is no return line. It's self-returning inside the fuel pump assembly itself. I believe this is for the level sender, maybe. I don't have a lot of problems with these fuel pumps. That's why I don't mess about with them on the newer cars. Like I said, the older Audis, I would have to replace a fuel pump or two. But very, very rarely have I even had to pop this back seat for anything on these 2009 plus Audis. I would not suggest doing this to a customer car and peeling this metal back to get this out if you needed to. If someone pops their back seat open and notices that you took these bolts out and uh, bent the metal back, look, if you do this, you at least want to bend this metal back and then tack weld these metal, I'm just joking. Please understand that that's just a joke. You don't want to weld next to a fuel tank. That would be really bad. You might lose your job. Okay, let's go look at the Q5. Now here we have an Audi Q5 and the seat's removed and we got the same kind of panel. That's what the panel's gonna look like at first. You're gonna have to take these Phillips screws out, pop this off. That's where the fuel pump is located directly below this. And that module will be right here as well on the same deal. By far, the most likely issue with your fuel system on these newer Audis is this high pressure fuel pump assembly. Bolted directly to the engine somewhere, depending on your model and year and engine. So I'm not even gonna discuss that part, all right? But it's gonna look something like this, okay? I'm gonna keep the plastic covering on it as well. 